Assalamualaikum Welcome to my YouTube channel So today I will continue to share about Another uh, element In uh, Money management or Financial management hierarchy Which is saving Okay So I will divide this saving into two parts uh, The first one is uh, Managing our saving The second part is managing our expenses so for this time for this video uh, I will talk about managing our saving okay uh, in general uh, the rule that I use to manage my own money uh, is basically to have at least a six months uh, equivalent uh, for my saving six months gross salary equivalent for my saving yeah meaning that um, as I climb the ladder in which it comes with the increment in the salary meaning that I need to also increase the amount of my saving because why? Uh, like it or not um, the way we manage our life and the way we live our life somehow depending on how much we earn yeah. so that's why uh, the moment uh, I got any increment meaning that there is another commitment for me to increase my saving to at least six month equivalent of my gross salary. Okay, so where to put the saving? Okay, uh, the way I uh, manage my money could be different from a typical advice that uh, you could have been listening to. Uh, but uh, for me, uh, I don't see tabung haji or ASB as an investment medium yeah i see that as a good uh, a good medium to park my saving because why because for me uh, when we say investment there should be a probability of uh, getting the profit and also at the same time got the probability of losing my money but for this tabung haji and asb our capital is guaranteed meaning that if we put one ringgit even after few years um, our one ringgit will not be reduced it's either it uh, generate more money from that one ringgit or the amount remain the same yeah so that's why uh, for this uh, six months equivalent uh, of my salary saving uh, I put uh, in these two mediums yeah uh, either tabung haji or ASB and in the event of I have a um, big purchase a uh, big amount purchase that I plan to do such as because my life is uh, revolving around traveling so definitely um, the big purchase that I will do is usually related to traveling is either uh, the flight tickets or if I wish to do uh, to have a staycation at high-end hotels, yeah, because I value experience are more than material, yeah. Although um, when it comes to money management, uh, I sounds uh, so materialistic, <laughs> but uh, it's just about for that money part only, yeah. But uh, most of the time, I spend on experience, yeah. So how I do if I have a plan, big amount of purchase. Uh, in less than a year, usually I park the money in fixed deposit. At least the hiba or the um, interest that I get from that fixed deposit still better as compared to if I put the money inside a saving account. Yeah. So in general, this is the rule. Yeah, for saving. The first one. It should be equal to six months of our gross salary minimum yeah minimum actually if you read uh, any other financial guidebooks they also advise uh, three months sometimes but um, being employed myself and understanding uh, the nature of human yeah it's hard for us to adjust ourselves quickly whenever we need to change something in our life be it uh, when we change the place of our life to a more uh, expensive place or cheaper place, yeah, it's hard for us to adjust. 
Uh, so if cheaper place is okay, but if more expensive, that's where our serving will play some roles. Yeah. Um, okay, back to the conclusion. <laughs> the first one, our serving should be equivalent to at least six months of our gross salary. If you plan to save that money for something that is not to be used within that particular year. It is good to park that money either in ASB or tabung haji. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, if you are a non bumi or non Muslim, um, you can park it in a fixed deposit. Yeah. Um, the third one if you plan to have a big amount of purchase uh, in less than a year, you could save that money in any fixed deposit account. At least it gives you some return. Although if you put like 2000, it only gives you like 3 to 4 ringgits. But at least 3 to 4 ringgits is still better than few cents. If you let your money remain in a saving account. Okay? So I hope uh, my sharing helps you guys. And let us be more... More what, yeah? Let us be uh, wiser in managing our own financial or our own money. Till this next video, thank you for watching. Assalamualaikum.